Hey everybody, it's Josh here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Divi pop-up. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna show you how to create an effect to where any button, any menu item, or literally any element of your Divi website can open up a pop-up window instead of going off to a separate page or another section of your website. So let me show you some examples of how I've done and used this. So here's a site we did recently to where this get started button, we wanted this to open up a contact form instead of going right to the contact page or elsewhere on the site. So using this effect, you can see that if we click get started, it opens up a nice contact form that's styled to the website that people can fill out. And then they can also exit it. And this will remain on the front page. And again, you notice it didn't go to a separate page. Here's another example on a site where this is more of like a lead magnet situation to where this is an app. So we wanted to people to see how it works without going to a separate page for more information or anything like that. So watch this, you'll click this button and then it opens up a little tutorial video and then people can sign up directly in this overlay without actually leaving the page. And then if people want more information, they can just click X and then they can scroll down to find out more. And then finally, let me show you a site we're actually working on currently to where this is a men's barbershop site and they have a ton of barbers and their current site, their barber page is super, super long. Reason being is each one of their barbers has more information. So what we're doing is instead of these linking off to their own barber pages or having one super long page, we're gonna create this pop-up effect so where people can scroll over these and then they can click for more information. And then same thing, they can just exit out and they can check out different barbers all on the same page, again, without going to separate pages. So that's what we're gonna do here. Now to come up with this effect, we're not gonna worry about hand coding this or doing any PHP or jQuery or CSS or anything. We're actually gonna use the most popular pop-up builder and pop-up maker for Divi, and that is called Divi Overlays. I have been using this for years. It's simple to use, it's easy to set up, it's very lightweight, it's been very reliable for me and my web design business for many years now. It's created by my colleague Tim over at Divi Life, and this is by far one of the most popular plugins in the Divi market, so if you've been with Divi for a while, you've probably at least heard of this or more than likely you own it. But if you're new to Divi, highly recommend this because this is how, again, I created all the effects that you just saw. So in order to use this, you can, it's very affordable too, so you can pick up the one site license if you just wanna try it out. Or if you're like me and you have web design clients, I recommend getting the unlimited license so you can use it on all kinds of websites over and over again without reaching a limit. So once you have Divi overlays and once you have it installed in your website, and once you have your API key in there, you're gonna see that now on your left-hand bar, you're gonna have Divi overlays here. And what we're gonna do in this example is I'm gonna show you two things. I'm gonna show you how to use it on a button. So we're gonna come up with a look just like this on the Magnify site where you click a button and it opens up maybe like a video and a, and a sign up. And I'm also gonna show you how to make a menu item click open a pop-up as well. So first things first, you need to create a new overlay. And one reason I absolutely love Divi overlays is that it uses the Divi Builder. So we'll call this, let's call this button overlay. And again, we're gonna, we're gonna make this really simple because the cool thing about Divi overlays is now that you're using the Divi Builder within it, you can literally create anything. And I know that when you purchase Divi overlays, it has a ton of templates and layouts you can get started with. So that's really cool as well. But again, your overlay can be anything. It can be a contact form, it could be a download, it could be a gallery or a whole other page. Really, really cool stuff. So in this case, first things first, let me just add, we'll do a full width row here. And let's add, um, again, you could create anything here for the sake of time in this tutorial. Let's just do a little, uh, we'll just put a video module in here. And then again, let's go with that same idea here where there's like a sales video and then a button. So let's go back here and let's go ahead and insert a button. And again, you can do any design you want with Divi. Let's say sign up and we don't need to even worry about putting a link or anything in there. And then again, you can style this to however you would like. In this case, we're just gonna keep it very simple. Uh, I'm not sure if it's compatible with the visual builder at the time of posting this, but uh, if not, I'm sure they're working on it. I typically just create it like this and then I'll show you some additional settings here because what's really cool about this is you can adjust the entire overlay. So you can go in here and you can select certain kind of animations. Um, I usually do fade and slide, which is gonna give it the same effect that you see here, kind of slides down. 
But again, there's a ton of animations here. And this is all in the documentation for the plugin. One thing you can also do too is you can display this on certain locations or only specific pages. And then it also gives you some options as far as whether you want the, the page to be able to be scrolling when you go down in the overlay, because that can be kind of conflicting if you have an overlay with a complex design and you have a page behind it. Um, so there's a lot of settings here that you're able to adjust if you want, uh, but I'll let you go through the documentation when you check that out. Now, you can also adjust the overlay background color here, or you can do it right in the Divi Builder if your design allows for it. So let's take this, uh, Let's take this blue right here. So I'm gonna use the color picker that I have on my Chrome browser here. So let's take this like dark gray blue and let's add this as the whole section background color real quick, just to kind of make this a little more pleasing for us. And let's reduce the opacity so we can see the background behind us. Save and exit. And then let's go ahead and publish this overlay. So we've got our overlay created. And now what we wanna do is put this in the button so that when you click that button, the overlay pops up. Luckily with Divi overlays, it's super, super easy. Here's the important thing. And again, Tim goes over this in more detail, but in short, you have an option for a CSS ID, which this is where you can put it in a button, a row, a section, literally any element of your site. And then I'll show you next how to put this as a menu item. But for right now, we're gonna copy this entire uh, overlay ID. So let's go into our design. Let's pop into the visual builder real quick. And let's go into the button itself and I'll show you where to put this to activate the overlay. So we're gonna click into the button and we're gonna go to advanced and we wanna go to CSS ID or class. Now, as you notice here, this is not a class, it is an ID. So you wanna make sure that whole code goes into the ID. Whoop. And there we go, pasted the entire ID there. Now, that's not gonna work yet. There's only one last thing you need to do, and that is, in the case of a button, is to give it a link. So generally, and Tim goes over this in the, in the uh, documentation in more detail, you can put anything in the link. Generally, what you'll do is just a pound sign, or sometimes if it links to an overlay or a pop-up, you may just want to make a note of that. A lot of times you'll see, we'll do like uh, open overlay, which is really popular. So we'll just say open overlay as the link. But again, it could be anything. You could just put a pound sign there if you want. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's get out of the visual builder and let's make sure this is looking good and we'll see our overlay. So now when I click check it out, pops down our overlay, which again, we didn't put anything in there now except for this uh, basic video and then the sign up button. But again, you can create anything you want to in that overlay. And again, you can put that in any element as well. Super, super cool. Now, let's do this same thing, but let's put this in the menu. So let's go ahead and copy our menu ID, and I'll show you how to put this into a menu item. So first things first, let's add a menu item and let's put it in the main menu here. Let's go appearance menus. We're on our main menu, and it does give you an option for Divi overlays, but I prefer to actually do a custom link because you can do more with it. Let's just do a pound sign there and let's say sign up and we'll add that to the menu. Yeah, we'll just keep it right there for now. Now, what you need to do is you need to add that menu ID that we just took, but it doesn't go into a class. It actually goes into another option that you can put in your menu. And that is, if you go under screen options, it's called the link relationship. Doesn't that sound nice? So we wanna click link relationship I have no idea what XFN means, but I'm sure it's something important. And now you'll see that link relationship tab is open and that's where you wanna put that ID. So we're gonna copy the menu ID, again, not the CSS ID, cause that only goes to buttons and sections and modules. This is gonna go to the menu ID and let's go ahead and save that. You guessed it, we're gonna go back out to the site. We're gonna refresh, we should see sign up. Let's click that and make sure our overlay pops up. And there we go, easy peasy. So there you go, guys. There is how to create a Divi pop-up. This is, again, using Divi overlays. I only recommend products that I use and trust for my business, so this is highly recommended. I see this question probably once a day in my Divi Web Designers Facebook group where people are like, hey, how do you make a pop-up in Divi? So I figured, heck, let's make a tutorial on it because it's very useful for me. Again, it's very affordable too. You can just try the one-site license and you can upgrade if you wanna use it more. I promise you will not be disappointed. They have great support over there as well. So 
with Divi overlays, you can really take your Divi website designs to the next level. Hope this helped. Hope you enjoy this and have fun making your clients happy with some super cool overlays. All right, guys, see you on the next tutorial.